HIV, early signs a person may notice in the mouth. Hello friends. Welcome back to Mark Medicals. Did you know that there are signs and symptoms of HIV your doctor can detect in your mouth? Well, in this video, you will learn about the following. 1. What is HIV AIDS? 2. Importance of regular HIV testing. 3. Symptoms of HIV in your mouth. 4. Why HIV can hide in some people for many years. 5. Reason why some people don't get HIV. So as you see guys this is a good educational video, so sight tight and learn. Alright. 1. What is HIV AIDS? Well, HIV and AIDS are two terms used interchangeably but have different meanings in the eyes of medical workers. HIV is just a virus that depletes cells of your body that help fight all infections. On the other hand, AIDS simply refers to a collection of infections. These are infections that take advantage of your weakened immunity to attack your body. HIV does not kill its clients. On the other hand, AIDS is the killer. HIV only depletes your white blood cells giving a chance to all opportunistic infections to attack your body. With untreated HIV infection, you are more likely to progress to the AIDS stage between 10 to 15 years. 2. Importance of regular HIV testing. I recommend everybody out there to test at least two times a year, or test every three to six months if you are a person that has multiple partners. Regular testing helps in early HIV detection and early initiation of HIV treatments. People who start HIV medications early do not develop AIDS as long as they remain undetectable. Once again, a person on HIV medications who is undetectable cannot transmit HIV to his, her partners. If you are a lady, your risk of infecting your baby will be lower too. 3. Symptoms of HIV in your mouth. Yes. There are signs in your mouth that suggest that you could be infected with HIV. These early oral indicators of HIV include the following. 1. Oral candidiasis. This is a fungal infection that affects your mouth. In people living with HIV, candida can proliferate and cause white, creamy lesions on the tongue, inner cheeks, roof of the mouth, and back of the throat. Oral candidiasis lesions can be painful and may bleed if scrapped. Though HIV-negative people are also affected, more than 60% of the people living with HIV usually experience such medical conditions. 2. Hairly leukoplakia. This is a condition that is caused by the Epstein-Barr virus. It appears as white, corrugated, or hairy-looking patches on the sides of your tongue. Unlike oral candidiasis, these patches cannot easily be scrapped off. The presence of these lesions suggests weakened immunity and most likely the cause is an HIV infection. 3. Gingivitis and periodontis. This is also known as gum disease and though everyone can get it, it largely affects people living with HIV. Symptoms of gingivitis and periodontitis include red, swollen, and bleeding gums. Advanced periodontitis can cause gum recession, pain, and even tooth mobility. 4. Ulcers and aphthystomatitis. These are also known as canker sores and almost every person that is living with HIV will suffer from them at one time in their lives. These painful sores can appear on the inner cheeks, lips, tongue, and throat. Though everyone has the potential to get it, it's quite often common in people living with HIV AIDS. 5. Dry mouth. In people living with AIDS, a dry mouth is a direct effect of HIV on their salivary glands or a side effect of the HIV medications. Dry mouth can lead to an increased risk of cavities, gum disease, and oral infections. 6. Red and white lesions. HIV can cause red and white lesions in your mouth. These patches can be uncomfortable and painful. The appearance of these patches, especially if they persist is a signal of a weakened immunity. However, I must remind you that, all those mentioned signs and symptoms can occur in people that do not have HIV infection. The only way you can tell if they are due to HIV is by taking an HIV blood test. 
4. Why HIV can hide in some people for many years. Can HIV really hide from tests? The answer is no, not for so long. Yes, there is no HIV testing method that is 100%. This is the reason I encourage you to test using at least two to three different methods. A blood test sometimes fails to detect HIV only if it's used before or within its window period. All test methods have different window periods beyond which the test gives close to 100% accuracy. On the same note, yes, there are some people whose bodies for certain reasons take too long to make enough antibodies to be detected by certain HIV tests. False negative results can occur due to incorrect test administration, low viral load, technical difficulties, taking the test too early, medicine, and other factors. For instance, Yesterday I had a patient in my clinic who tested negative after the laboratory guy used capillary blood from her finger. To me, she had some obvious signs and symptoms. I ordered the laboratory men to use blood from her veins and guess what? She tested positive. Okay. If you don't test, HIV can hide in the body for up to 20 years during the chronic stage, and up to 10 to 15 years if the virus develops into stage 2 without appropriate testing and treatment. 5. Reason why some people don't get HIV. Yes. It's true, some people cannot get HIV. But these people are very rare or less than 1% of the general population. Studies have shown that certain types of people have a gene defect in their white blood cells, or CD4 cells that do not allow HIV to infect them. People who have this CD4 cell surface gene defect cannot be infected with HIV. Today, all the people who have been cured completely of HIV received bone marrow transplants from people who already had this gene defect. Timothy Ray Brown also known as the germain patient, was the first patient to be cured of HIV completely. He received a bone marrow transplant from a donor who had this gene defect to cure his cancer but ended up curing his HIV too. On the contrary, blood group O has no protection against HIV. All blood groups have the same risk of getting infected with HIV. Studies have shown that a person with blood group O may have a slightly lower risk of developing AIDS very fast, compared to other blood groups, but in my opinion, this is not true. Do you want me to talk about HIV elite controllers? Yes. These are people whose bodies naturally control HIV. They can be infected with the virus but won't easily develop AIDS just like others. Studies have shown that antibody-only HIV testing methods is not the best kits to test HIV elite controllers because risks of getting false negatives could be higher. In summary, yes, some signs and symptoms of HIV only show up in your mouth. The most common of these are oral candidiasis, oral leukoplakia, and many others. Hope you learned many things from this video about early HIV signs a person may notice in the mouth.